In this video, we will be modifying the patient profile screen using Customizer. You can access Customizer by going to File, Setup, Customizer. Here you can select the area which you wish to customize. In this example, we will use Screen Patient Profile. You can create a new customization and start by giving it a name. Once we hit OK, you notice that the customization begins to load in a different tab. In the main section of the screen, you will see all the different fields that you can customize on the patient profile. And on the right side, you will see the control section, which allows you to modify different attributes of these fields. In this example, we will modify the color of some of these text fields. You can select multiple fields by clicking on the first one, holding down the control key on your keyboard, and then selecting the other field. We can then go over to our control section and select the appropriate attribute, which in this case would be text color. And here we will just select a different color and hit the save button to save our changes. We can then click on the Manager tab, which is where we started off in the beginning, and then click on Effect Customizations. This allows us to specify which security groups this customization will be available to, and we can also make this customization a default for certain security groups. We can also make it the default for all security groups by clicking on Default All. Now, if we open up the patient profile, you'll notice that those changes have already taken effect. You can also easily delete fields that are in screen simply by selecting the fields and deleting them. In this example, we'll delete the occupation field. So select the descriptive text and then the database column and hit delete on the keyboard. We can save these changes. And if we open a patient profile at this point, you'll notice that the occupation field is now gone. It's also very easy to move fields in Customizer. We can just click on the field that we need to move and drag it to the desired location. For this example, we'll move the nickname field to where occupation used to be. There's many times where the fields that you're moving may need to be resized in order to fit to their new location. Also, after moving a field, you may find that it is not aligned with the rest of the fields in that row. It's easy to align fields in Customizer. You can select the field that you wish to use as a reference first, then you can hold down the control key on the keyboard and select the fields that you wish to be affected. Next, you can click on the alignment icon at the top. This gives you options for alignment. In our example, we want to align the bottom edges to the first 
item that was selected. So we'll click on that, and you'll notice that now our items are all horizontally aligned. And we can save these changes. And when we open the patient profile again, you'll notice that our changes have taken effect. Another thing that can be done with ease using Customizer is adding database columns. So for this example, we can add the column that we deleted earlier, which was occupation. To do so, you double click on the spot where you need to add the column. And since we are adding a database column that we deleted earlier, we'll select this option. This brings up the columns list. We'll need to first expand the table view so we can see the columns that are available to add. And we are looking for occupation. You can then double click on that. And as you can see, the database field gets added. And again, you may find it necessary to resize the column once you add it. We'll also want to add a descriptive text for this column. So we can double click where we want it to go, click on text, and then type in our actual text. Once you've entered the text, you may find that the text does not fit into the field. And you can manually adjust the field to make that text fit. Or you can also scroll down to the bottom of the control section and click on resize to fit the text. The next thing you may want to do now is to align these fields horizontally. And again, we can click on a reference point field, hold down the control button, and select the other fields that we wish to align to that reference one. We can go to our alignment options and select line bottom edges to first select it. And now we can save these changes. And we can take a look at a patient profile again. And as you can see now, we have our customized patient profile screen. One important thing to note when adding database columns is the tab order value. When you add a database column, it gets assigned a tab order value of zero. The tab order defines the cursor's behavior when you hit tab when you're in a field in the screen. Tab order numbers go in increments of 10. So if the field before it has a value of 50, and you wish for this to be the next field that the cursor will jump to when you hit tab, then the logical tab order number to give this new field is 60. And that concludes our examples for customizing the patient profile screen.